All right, so I wanted to try something a little different. Um, I know that there's a lot of autopilot videos out there. I've done a few. Um, I like to do them with details on uh, things like what percent of a drive is done on autopilot and what percent is done manually. But I really wanted to do an autopilot test, like what can autopilot actually handle? So I kind of wanted to do something that was disadvantaging the car. So I went at dusk, not the greatest lighting. Um, I left my windshield dirty so the cameras are a little obscured. I went to a road that has some curves, some blind corners, and most importantly, doesn't have lane markings. So one thing that a lot of people don't know is that Teslas actually can do autopilot on unmarked roads, assuming that you start autopilot while there still are lane markings. Uh, if the lane markings end, the car will do just fine most of the time. But anyways, I did this video and unfortunately the camera quality is not the greatest, nor is the audio. I didn't have my mic hooked up to me, but either way you can get the gist of how it went and hopefully you like this, hopefully you learned something. So the car does a good job of staying to the right here with the passing car. So the car slows down for this corner here and then it goes a little too far to the left and then it corrects itself fairly quickly. And then here it's still kind of a little too centered. I didn't feel super comfortable with that, but at least I could see oncoming traffic. So coming up on a blind and sharp corner here, it's super narrow and the car slows down and it hugs the right hand side. This was exactly how I would have done it. Wow, okay, wow. Usually in the past when I've tried that, it would not really slow down for that corner at all. And it would go way towards the left and it was really scary because it's a blind corner. So up until this point, the car is doing a ton better of staying towards the right hand side of the road and slowing down for corners compared to what it's done in the past. Over. And it was a little closer to that guy than I would have hoped. This little thing coming up has been pretty confusing for the car in the past because it looks like the road is veering to the right, but it's actually going to the left. And you can see the car slowed down there and got kind of confused, but then it corrected itself.
Just something to note here is that there are still no lane markings. Ever since I started autopilot and started this test, there haven't been any at all for the car to follow. The last time that I did it and I got this far, there were actually garbage cans sitting out there. It may have dodged out of the way, but it got way too close for me to be comfortable with it, so I took over and yeah. So the road starts to get narrower here and I actually jinx myself. I actually think the car is going to complete this, this road. Um, which means that instead of this being a challenge to see, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, I jinxed it right there. Made it to that corner. I was going to say that I was going to use this road in the future as a way to critique autopilot, see how it does, see how much better it'll handle like a human, like in this case, if there were another car coming, oh, like here, we want to get further over to the right, and the car likes to just kind of hang out towards the middle a little bit. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that as test one with uh, software version 2020.12.1, I believe. Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah, 2020.20.12, excuse me. And yeah, we'll see how it does in the future with different software updates and also when we get the hardware three or the full self-driving computer, so. Also, I'd like to see before I uh, end this video, if in the future, the car will be able to enable autopilot when there's not lane markings. So it could handle the road pretty well, but as you can see here, there's no steering wheel. I've never been able to get the car on any stretch of that road to uh, enable autopilot. I've had little blips where it'll show the, the wheel for just a split second and then it disappears, but never long enough to actually enable autopilot. And I'm going to stop for these quail. Go quail. Nobody behind me, so there we go, whatever. But yeah. That was a pretty decent test. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.